10 most powerful prehistoric animals that ever existed. For about 135 million years, dinosaurs were the undisputed rulers of the Earth. However, our planet has been around for a lot longer than the dinosaurs' reign, and as it turns out, nature has been quite adept at producing nightmare-inducing monsters other than dinosaurs. To think that dinosaurs are the only scary inhabitants of our prehistoric past would be a big, big mistake. From ocean dwellers far bigger than great whites, to sky dwellers bigger than giraffes, to an elephant-sized sloth, here are 10 of the scariest and most fascinating prehistoric creatures. Titanoboa For those of you with ophidiophobia, this one's for you. Simply put, Titanoboa is the largest snake that ever existed. It grew to more than 40 feet long, 12 meters, and could weigh up to 2,500 pounds, 1,130 kilograms. Titanoboa appeared not long after the dinosaurs went extinct, perhaps filling a niche left open by the disappearance of the world's former top predators. Titanoboa lived during the Paleocene Epoch. It likely hunted much like crocodiles do, lurking, partially submerged at the water's edge so that it could ambush thirsty, unsuspecting animals. It would strike from the water and wrap itself around its prey, delivering a crushing death. It lived in the rainforests of South America, where temperatures were warmer than the tropics of today. This allowed the cold-blooded reptile to grow larger than modern reptiles can. Leo Pleurodon Plesiosaurs were a group of marine reptiles that appeared and disappeared almost at the same time as the dinosaurs, so the popular confusion of the two groups is understandable. And if there was one plesiosaur you needed to watch out for, it was Leo Pleurodon. This carnivorous beast could weigh more than 3,500 pounds, 1,590 kilograms, and reach lengths greater than 30 feet, 9.1 meters, with nearly a quarter of that being its massive skull, complete, of course, with enormous jaws and several rows of razor-sharp teeth. The two species of Lyopleurodon lived during the Colovian stage of the Middle Jurassic period. Lyopleurodons could kill megalodons due to superior bite force maneuverability and none independence from salt water, and the restriction of slowing down consistently, wasting energy. Sarcosuchus this gargantuan predator is called Supercroc, which gives you an idea of what it looked like. Not technically a crocodile, the Sarcosuchus was actually its distant relative, the primary difference being their size. At almost 40 feet long, 12.2 meters, Sarcosuchus was almost twice as long as the saltwater croc, the biggest crocodile we have today. It also weighed around 8 metric tons, which meant that it could take on almost any challenger it faced. And that's a good thing, because Sarcosuchus lived alongside the dinosaurs. It had a six-foot-long skull, 1.82 meters, that contained 132 teeth. This reptile from the Cretaceous era lived in what are now Africa and South America. Mosasaurus like plesiosaurs, mosasaurs were marine reptiles and not technically dinosaurs. At almost 60 feet in length, 18.3 meters, mosasaurus was the biggest of the bunch. In fact, it was one of the most dangerous creatures prowling the waters throughout the entire Cretaceous period. It looked like a massive crocodile, particularly the head, only equipped with fins, which terrifyingly allowed it better mobility in the water. Mosasaurus is faster and would intentionally swallow sharks whole. Megalodon This enormous, extinct shark species has become one of the most well-known prehistoric creatures, perhaps second only to the T-Rex. By far the biggest species of shark to have ever existed, the Megalodon is generally thought to have looked similar to the modern Great White. However, while a great white shark can grow to be 20 feet long, 6 meters, and more than 5,000 pounds, 2,268 kilograms, Megalodon was estimated to be 60 foot in length, 18.3 meters, weighing anywhere from 50 to 100 metric tons, 55 to 100 tons. Megalodon only died off about 2.6 million years ago. 
This means that it often interacted with animals that are still around today, like giant sea turtles, porpoises, and even whales. Quetzalcoatlus Terrifying animals didn't occupy only the ground and water. Imagine a predatory creature the size of a giraffe with a 33-foot, 10-meter wingspan flying through the air. Quetzalcoatlus northropi lived during the Cretaceous period alongside dinosaurs and might have eaten smaller ones. But when they took to the air, researchers think they were graceful and powerful flyers. Quetzalcoatlus had hollow bones like modern birds, so where giraffes weigh as much as 2,800 pounds, 1,270 kilograms, these creatures only carried about 550 pounds, 250 kilograms up into the air where they might have been able to fly and glide for days at a time. Fossils show that they were covered with hair, which probably helped them regulate their body temperature during flight. Saber-toothed cat The Smilodon lived in North America until around 13,000 years ago, which means it probably overlapped with early human inhabitants. Saber-toothed cats were not only hypercarnivores with six-inch long fans, 15 centimeters, but evidence indicates that they hunted in packs. Fossils of many saber-toothed cats have been found at Labria site. They would have been attacked there by prey animals that were stuck in the asphalt, a thick substance that accumulates when crude oil bubbles up from the ground, and then gotten stuck themselves. Leviathan Melivilli This extinct whale was named both for the monstrous sea creature Leviathan from the Old Testament that, when he rises up, the mighty are terrified, they retreat before his thrashing. And for Herman Melville, the author of the novel Moby Dick, a tale of an accursed white whale that terrorized Captain Ahab and eventually brought about his death and the destruction of his ship and crew. Leviathan Melivilli is related to modern sperm whales like Moby Dick and lived during the Miocene Epoch. It was 44 to 57 feet long 13.4 to 17.4 meters, and had a 10-foot-long skull, 3 meters, that housed 40, 14.5-inch-long teeth. These are the longest teeth used for feeding known from any animal, extinct or alive. They fed on large prey at the surface of the water, including other whales. This whale likely became so large because it was competing directly with Megalodon for food. Gorgonops Clearly, our planet was full of fearsome prehistoric creatures before the dinosaurs ever came along. Another prime example is Gorgonops, an animal that lived 260 million years ago, way before dinosaurs became the dominant predators. At around 6 to 10 feet in length, 1.8 to 3 meters, Gorgonops was a fast and vicious predator, allowing it to rise to the top of the food chain. Of course, it also helped that Gorgonops had massive canines, so large that they nearly protruded beyond its lower jaw. Short-faced bears Those big millipedes probably wouldn't have fared so well against the largest bear species that ever lived, but the bears appeared a few hundred million years too late. They get their name from the shape of their heads. Because they were short-faced, these giant bears had a much stronger bite than modern bears, even grizzlies. Also, they had long legs and could run fast. Some of the North American bears found in the La Brea Tar Pits would have weighed more than 2,000 pounds, 907 kilograms. Modern polar bears only grow up to 1,600 pounds, 725 kilograms. But their South American cousins are likely to have tipped the scales at 3,500 pounds, 1,587 kilograms, and grown to be 11 feet tall standing up, 3.3 meters. Thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.